You know, it's two days left to the finals. We're all extremely anxious and excited, tired as well. But, uh, you know, Peter's here today. Peter Andre's been here. And the energy levels of the girls, they've really, really worked hard to give their best. So it's been great. And everyone seems to get on very well. Is there any rivalry behind the scenes? There's always, um, there's always rivalry before we come here, but when we come here, we all go on a journey together and we're all experiencing the same emotions behind the scenes. So we all support each other. We become, um, you know, family to each other, essentially. It's going fantastic. I'm, I feel so blessed. Um, we're here for our rehearsals. You can see me. I have no makeup on and I feel comfortable being here alongside my sisters who are fully glammed up and Miss World is happy to put me on a camera as a contestant looking like my original self. So it is so proud. Um, it is, it's honestly this feeling to be able to be yourself and present yourself in this way here in London with your country's name badge on. It's fantastic. No, it was quite fun, like being able to dance with the girls and then the music and everyone enjoying each other really well. It's really fun. I enjoy it a lot. Yeah. It seems like uh, everyone's very friendly. There's no, is there no big competition rivalry going on? No, we're all like a family here. So we help each other, we support each other and everyone is just like sisters. I really like that a lot. Who have you made friends with? Oh, many, like Japan, actually, um, my roommate, Myanmar, and other girls, South Africa, Sweden, Netherlands, uh, New Zealand, or it's a lot of things. I think like it's a good opportunity for us to make a friend because in here we have a pretty girl, like 125 countries, so it's, it's going to be good. It's absolutely incredible. I'm a little bit sad that there's only two more days left because then we all separate and we have to say bye to each other. But it's definitely on my bucket list to visit some of these girls in their countries, especially with their projects, their beauty with a purpose. I would love to jump on board and help them and contribute to what they are doing. It's absolutely amazing. It's almost, I think, two more days till we reach the finals. Uh, we've been working really, really hard to give the best outcome so that the whole entire world world can see us um, it's gonna be amazing all our dance numbers we've been working really really hard at it so yeah a lot of us can't really dance well but we're trying we're trying yeah quite hard work we all woke up bright and early but we're ready to get the show on the road now really um, we've got the dances down to a T so just going through the motions and yeah just making sure we do it with a smile on our face all the time but I'm loving it this is like the, a dream come true for me so every second really is special how are your dancing skills? Were they good before you arrived? Well, I have been dancing from the age of three and a half years. <laughs> yes, I'm a classical dancer, yes. Yeah, I'm actually not a good dancer, but I'm learning because we have the best choreographers. Uh, they are doing amazing, so I'm getting my moves on point. <laughs> I just love dancing because it's something that brings peace to my soul and I enjoy it a lot. So that you found this quite easy then, this dance routine? Not really, because this is not my style. But yes, I'm enjoying it because we have the excellent trainer on board, Miss Donna, and she is teaching us fabulously.
Uh, well, I'm doing, uh, of course, the rehearsals and I'm making my mind ready by, uh, you know, sleeping on time. I'm trying to eat healthy so that I fit in my gowns. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just getting my mind ready, yeah. I'm just taking every day as it comes, going through the steps, going through the show mentally in my head, but also cheering up all the girls, keeping them energized, keeping that enthusiasm, the motivation alive, because it's going to be a spectacular show. Are you nervous about Saturday? I think um, I'm most of all most excited. I think most excited to see everyone come, most excited to see my family again, most excited to be with my sisters one last time. It's really sad because most of us are leaving the next day. So it's a little bit uh, in between joy and happiness and in between sadness as well because I'm leaving my sisters. Yeah. It's really not about the competitors or anything. You have to try to better yourself and give your best performance because every single lady here, they're the best of the best. It's just, yeah, just enjoy. I want to enjoy this is because this is once in a lifetime experience. And of course, I have purpose. I have also purpose and I have to raise it, but I want to enjoy this. How does it feel to represent your country in this competition? It's an immense pride, to be honest. It's a moment of pride for me because uh, representing your country, like not everyone gets the, get this opportunity and it's a big honor. So it feels great. And at the same time, I, as I've told before that I've never been out of India. So coming out of India for the first time and representing your country is a really big moment for me and it's a very big thing. So I can't wait and hopefully, by the grace of God, the best girl is crowned and hopefully that girl is me. But if it's not, I want the best person to be crowned. Nigeria! And Nigeria is now in the top 40 of Miss World. That's, and, and there's one last thing. Uh, just now they just announced me top model Miss World 2019 and that's amazing. As a model, it's just, it's, especially because the other people that I was working with and in this with were so amazing as well. And the fact that I've gotten picked out of all of these amazing ladies is making me feel so grateful. And even what's even crazier is the amount of love I was showered with when I was announced. It's like all of them were just so happy for me. They were happy. They piled on. They were crying. It was just, it was, it was like, yes, this is, this is, I feel like I've won the entire thing. I feel like I'm the owner of the entire world now and it's just like thank you so much girls for being such love to me for giving me love and I, you can probably guess who the winner of multimedia is it's nepal yeah. uh, so come on there we are multimedia champions and top model there they are You just picked up the multimedia prize. How does yes, that feel? We did. Well, the country picked it up and the people picked it up. So I'm very glad because this would not have been possible uh, without each and every one person voting from across the world through a lot many channels. There was a lot of things to do, but everyone just geared up and and we did it. We did it, Nepal. Thank you, that was amazing. Girls, that was so much better.